Hello and welcome to Live It Tonight. Now we've all heard of bespoke services for suits and for those of you who are serious about style and detailing, all of you would opt for custom made suits. Not only is it a symbol of taste, but it's also a statement that you've arrived. Well, for all you male fashionistas out there, the latest arrival in town is going to get you all excited because we're going to be talking about bespoke men's shoes, the ultimate statement in style. And to talk about just that, I'm joined by none other than Victor Lee, founder of Diamond Walker, who's going to walk us through and give us a little masterclass on footwear for men. And he's going to ensure that your swagger is a cut about the rest. Thank you so much for joining us, Victor. Truly a pleasure to have you Thank on Liver tonight. Me. Give me a sense of, you know, the latest styles in Bespoke. Of course, Bespoke, I know, would be, you know, to each his own. But in that set, what are the kind of trends you are seeing when it comes to male styling? This is a classic double mang, okay. but given a different twist. What I mean is that you don't see wingtip double mangs very often in the market. Okay. And to up that special touch, this is actually a pair made from a olive green calf skin okay. together with a grey saffiano leather which wow. feels like denim and feels like canvas but it's actually leather. Okay. So this itself, if this don't get your attention at a ball or at some formal function, I don't know what else can. Can you just take me through some of your really standout uh, designs? For instance, this one or maybe uh, this one, uh, you know, the, this one right here right. and just take me through really the footwear engineering. Okay, this pair that you first lay your fingers on, okay, this is actually a patina pair. Okay. Yeah, basically it's patina, it's like hand painting finishing, right, to give the shoe a very different look as compared to a regular uh, pre-treated leather. Normally it's just an untreated colour okay. and that's when the patina master apply uh, the cream, right. a layer upon layer. At Diamond Walker, we do seven layers and when we do a patina pair, we don't stop at the top. We even patina the leather outsole. Wow, nice. Yeah. Okay. And the pair that you picked up last, the red one. This one, yeah. Yep, yeah, it's also a patina pair. Yeah. So this pair is a whole cut Oxford, right? And it's actually a very clean and very slick pair. Okay. And it actually has a detail of a medallion in the front, and that's about enough. What would you pair, let's say, this, this particular pair and that with? Oh. I think most men would be very confused. Okay, this pair in uh, like this whole cut in uh, Merlot or wine colour patina. I think it goes very well with a navy blue suit. But whereas for this pair, this is a little bit tricky. Okay. This one, because of the colour, you can probably go for something like grey. But again, style is something very personal. Which has been the most expensive piece of footwear you've created for a customer? The most exotic. Ex most exotic. Maybe we can move sure. over to that side sure. and I'll show sure. you. Is this the most expensive, exclusive pair you've ever made? Uh, not the pair that you see, because the pair that I made obviously is in the hands of its owner now. Yeah, sure. Yeah, but this is a very uh, good example. In okay. fact, it's almost an identical pair. Okay. And why it was the most exotic or the most extravagant pair we ever made? Right. Is because this customer came in, he requested for, as I told you, the wingtip, right? And you can see all the punch holes here. Wow. He requested for all of these holes to be embedded with not crystals, but diamonds. Diamonds. Total from here to here, and he was quite a, uh, I think he's quite a big size. He has maybe a size 9 or size 10. Wow. The total number of diamonds, as I still remember, it was 55 diamonds. So that was none other than Victor Lee, the founder of Diamond Walker, and I'm sure all you male fashionistas out there have been truly enlightened by the session he took us through. So go out there and get with it. That's all we have for you. See you next week on Liver Tonight.